Team Human is a book that I wrote with Sarah Rees Brennan, who's a wonderful Irish uh, novelist. Uh, she wrote a fantastic trilogy that begins with Demon's Lexicon. We wrote it, it was not, I have never intended to collaborate with anyone, that's just not my thing, but we both went and saw New Moon, the second of the Twilight movies at around the same time. And uh, we got talking about having, after we'd both seen it, we got talking about it, and we realized that our favorite scene was the same scene. So that is when uh, Bella's best friend remonstrates with Bella about how selfish she's been and how she's just completely self-involved and all she cares about is, you know, her boyfriend and she's neglecting all her friends and all of this. And when I saw it at the cinema, half the audience actually started applauding. It was kind of this great moment. And for both of us, it totally reminded us of that moment in high school when our best friends were totally obsessed with their boyfriends and ignoring us, you know? You suddenly left out of your best friend's life. Everything that you did together, you weren't doing together anymore. And we were like, somebody should write a, you know, a book from the point of view of the best friend of the girl who's in love with the vampire. That, that has to happen. We, someone needs to do that. And then at the same time, we were both saying, why don't we do that? And then before we knew it, we'd started writing this book together. Ah, okay. Well, I actually have in my hands Sarah's answers to some of these questions because, I mean, I'm, Team Human is a Sarah and Justine novel, so it would be very weird to talk about it on my own. So I had to get Sarah's input. Okay, um, well, Sarah's response is to say that we were very consciously riffing on vampire cultures, that we're both huge fans of vampire literature. And so we decided to pick and choose the bits we were most interested in and that would help us tell the story that we wanted to tell. Um, yeah, and that's totally true. We actually gave each other reading lists um, and we went back and reread early vampire classics. Uh, the town that the action takes place in, actually it's more like a city, is called New Whitby. And that's because in Dracula, um, one of the, the town in England where most of the kind of vampiric events happen is the town of Whitby. So we thought it was kind of cool to call it New Whitby. Um, and Sarah, I had never read, um, Sarah's um, more than a decade younger than me, so the vampire books that she came of age with were not the ones I came of age with. So uh, we both read Anne Rice and we both read Stephen King's Salem's Lot. Um, but Sarah had never seen the movie Love at First Bite, which I saw when I was quite tiny and thought was the funniest thing in the entire world. I rewatched it recently and it's possibly the worst film ever made, so it was a bit of a shock. Um, but she got me reading um, The Vampire Diaries, which I hadn't read, and she got me watching the TV show. Now I'm completely addicted, thanks Sarah. Um, and we, you know, we're both familiar with tw Twilight and True Blood. Um, oh, and I got her to read Sibella um, by Tanith Lee, which is a very obscure um, vampire novel and I also got her to read Susie McKee Charnas's The Vampire Tapestry which I think is possibly the best vampire book ever written. Um, and, but these kind of reading this we gave each other sparked lots of ideas and we had many conversations about what our vampires would and wouldn't do. We also um, we also agreed very early on that everything that went in the book we both had to agree to and both be happy with. So. It, you know, it led to quite heated arguments as we kind of argued our points and, and normally the person who was more passionate about whatever we were arguing about would win or we'd come up with some um, usually much cooler idea that was a compromise between what we both wanted. Sarah says, I know Justine's heart really belonged to Sydney, but I would live in New Whitby. Maybe not forever. I'm a rolling stone and I love to travel, but it's a great city. It has a great nightlife, interesting people who lead interesting lives or unlives. So what's not to live? I could live by the Bathory River and by my croissants next to the O Neg store, go on a date with a vampire who'll tell me a sad story about his ex from the 1920s. Vampires, they're so hung up. And I could send Justine really cheesy postcards about my move. Perhaps one that says, New Whitby, hang out with your fangs out. 
Um, I would like to visit New Whitby. Um, it's a town found, founded by vampires escaping persecution in the old world. So, you know, I think it would be, you know, the vampire culture is quite intense. I think it would be really interesting. Um, I, think, I think the thing that really makes um, Team Human different is the point of view. It's not told from the point of view of the person in love with a vampire, and it's not told from the point of view of the vampire. It's from the best friend. And, and I think the best friend is frequently left out. It's kind of like, um, there's a really fantastic series of um, comics by um, Devin Grayson, I think. I'm terrible at names. But I think it's called Nightwing, and it's actually from the point of view of Robin. So it's from the sidekick. And, and that makes um, seeing the Batman universe not from Batman's point of view, but from Robin's, gives you this whole kind of different way of seeing the world. And I think seeing the paranormal uber romance from the point of view of the best friend, just you see it on slant, you see it differently. Um, and kind of, you know, less intensely in some ways, but more intensely in others. And I think everyone has experienced that moment when you discover that you and your best friend are not on the same course, that you're going in different directions, you suddenly have different interests and you're not, you know, like this all the time anymore. And it's, it's a big moment in all our lives. And, and in a big way, even with vampires and zombies and everything else in this book, that's what the book is about. And that's what I think makes it different. Uh, hot. Vanilla. Words. <laughs> Night. Standing. Monsters. Lawn balls. I'm Australian. Neither. Daddy dancing. Humans. <laughs>